Danny. Welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to be sharing our top 10 essentials if you're starting an online business. For those of you who are new, my husband Nick and I own an online business where we specialize in handmade dog bandanas and bow ties and now we have a lot of other dog items as well. But hopefully this video and all these essentials will be useful to you if you're starting any type of online business, whether it be a boutique or anything else that has to do with online businesses really. Um, I will link anything I can of these items down below and don't forget to subscribe and like this video and let's get into it. So obviously when you're starting an online business, you need a website and a sales platform and things like that, but those are all kind of like you hopefully wouldn't be to this point of deciding about your business or figuring out your business if you didn't have those things. So we're not gonna talk about anything like that. We're just gonna be talking about like physical things that I have here in front of me. So the number one thing that is my favorite product that we're gonna be talking about in this video is the Rolo Thermal Printer. It is this thing right here. And I'm gonna tell you why this thing is my favorite. When we started our business over a year ago, my husband's job was to sit by the window. Well, first his job was to take the stuff to the post office. And real quick, we were like, gotta nix that. Like there is no driving to the post office and dealing with a line and all that stuff. So we started printing with a normal printer and then packaging taping the labels to the packages and then he would sit by the window and wait for the mailman and then he'd chase after her because like she would only come to the mailbox you know so he would have to like wait for her go chase her down and hand her all the stuff and obviously that was a waste of time and a lot of work and I don't know why we ever did it that way but it's because we didn't know any other way to do it other than going to the post office so we found this Rolo thermal printer which stopped us from wasting all that money on packaging tape and printing on paper and things like that and if you don't know this will be a huge tip for you the postal service now this is through usps um, has a kind of service for you where you can schedule a pickup so you can tell them whether it'll be in your house and they'll have to knock or if it'll be on your porch or if you'd leave it at the mailbox whatever it may be there's a lot of different options but then the mailman will know that they have something to pick up so we always let them know that we have stuff and she always comes to our door and picks it up for us so that eliminated that issue real quick but this product is so amazing it doesn't have ink it is a thermal printer so um, super easy to use and you would put the labels. So here next to it, product number two are the thermal labels. Oh gosh, I don't know why I did that that way because really I should have showed you the other product too, which is this holder because this isn't essential and there's a couple different ways the labels can be so the labels can come like this or they come in a roll and then there is a thing on here if you had the roll so like that would be pretty essential if you had the roll but you could just put these here i feel like this helps it feed through the machine better and then you'll just put your labels in like this and then you hook your computer up and it prints it right out it's so fast literally like one second per label so so fast um, we love this thing and it does a great job so that is first three products all having to do with printing your own labels if you have an online business so on the lines of sending your packages from your location of your online business you have to know how much the stuff weighs because the postal service won't take it away if you pay for less shipping so you need some kind of scale this one is awesome it's tiny comes in a bunch of colors um, and it holds up to like 86 pounds it says so obviously we're never shipping anything that heavy but it's really nice super easy um, and it just is definitely an essential if you have an online business and are shipping from your location the scale does do ounces and pounds so if you are doing things that are super lightweight like us typically our packages are like three ounces and it's very accurate and if you ever need to put like a box on there and only weigh the product you could always like zero it out and kind of tell it exactly what you're measuring which is super nice then you have to think about what you're shipping out so whether it be a shirt or a dog bandana I don't know what you're shipping out but you have to think about how you're getting it from your location to the customer so we have these custom 
poly mailers, but this is not necessary. You could just buy generic poly mailers. You might need boxes, which we do have boxes as well but they're downstairs. Um, think about what you're sending it in, but I think these are so cute. It's great marketing. You could put like your Instagram or your website on here as well. Um, because we have these, people are always posting pictures of their packages and that also helps get our name out there. But I wouldn't just stick my product in here. I like to have another barrier between. So I also have these. We used to wrap everything in tissue paper, which is great option if you would like to do something more aesthetically pleasing. It was beautiful when we did that, but it was way more time consuming and more expensive. So more recently, we went to these. These are meant for t-shirts, but we use them for our bandanas. You just slip your product in there. You can then turn this inside out so that it stays closed. And so we put the this plastic inside of the poly mailer. Um, you could just totally flip this inside out and that's how you keep it closed. But I like to put a little extra touch. So I also love stickers. I put the sticker to keep it closed. Um, I also think that our stickers are just super cute and it doesn't stay stuck. So if they wanted to peel it off and put it on something that they had, they could keep the sticker too. Packaging is really important because you don't have a storefront. They need to remember you. You don't want them to buy this thing that they saw on an Instagram ad and then never remember where they got it from. So having your name on a bunch of different things really keeps it in their head and allows them to remember about the great experience, that great um, like eye-pleasing package that they received at their doorstep. And like I said, if they post a picture and then their friends see how cute it is, then they're more likely to buy from you as well. And then along with that is you need to have some kind of thing in there to say thank you. Um, because obviously they're getting something and they might, if you didn't have this custom packaging and you just had like a dog on there, they'd be like, where did this thing come from? I don't even remember where, who, where I ordered this from or anything like that. So we send out these cards that says, thank you. This one says happy holidays. Thank you for purchasing. It has our website on there. It says share your photos with us. We put our Instagram handle there. Just a reminder of, Hey, we'd love to see what you do with these products. So let's see some pictures. You could always offer a discount code, which is a great incentive to bring people back. Like, Hey, thanks for your purchase. Get 10% off your next purchase with this code. We've done that in the past. And that really does bring customers back for a second time. Business cards are an essential when owning your own business, whether it be a storefront or online. Um, because of the age that we're at, um, we are both 25 right now. People are always asking us what we're doing, what we do with our lives, where we work. And so we are constantly saying that we own our own business. People think it's crazy. It's cool. Whatever it may be, they want to know more. So we are always handing these out. So every single purse that I have, every single coat pocket, we always have business cards. We keep them in the car because you never want to miss that opportunity. Um, and we found that like, even if that person who we handed the card to didn't purchase, they tell someone else and it always comes back around. It's really, really crazy about how, like the word of mouth spreads about your business because especially for us, so many people have dogs and they're like, oh my gosh, I saw this cute bandana company um, and they might have kept this in their bag or just remembered our name and could tell their friends or family about it. I did wanna mention because these won't be linked down below um, about where I get them. So I get our businesses business cards from Vistaprint along with our stickers, um, Vistaprint, always has sales so don't buy full price wait till there's a coupon code because that's how you can save some money when you're starting your business and then our cards i create these on canva and then canva allows you to print them um, canva also does actually these might have been from canva i don't really remember i get a lot of things from canva too because they have a lot of great printing options if you want to create like a poster for some event or anything like they have all these printing options which is so nice i think they even do t-shirts now so you could really get a lot of things from canva um which that also allows you to design what you're creating right there. So like it's super easy if you wanted that because you would go to the website, create it and be able to print it all from the same place. Lastly, I thought this was important because I have a friend who started an online boutique and we were talking about when she started and she's like, oh my gosh, I launched my business and forgot about this. So I wanted to let y'all know if you're starting a business, don't forget about tags. So for us, I don't tag all of our bandanas going out because I don't think it's necessary. But if you own an online clothing boutique, I think it is pretty necessary because it's pretty standard that a clothing item come with a tag on it. That kind of just makes you feel like it's new. And for us, we sell to stores, um, physical stores. So I think it's essential for us to have our tags on those items. 
So I created these on probably Vistaprint too. Um, they have a front and a back. You could leave the back empty if you have like a price tag or something you wanted to put on there. But tags are pretty essential um, on letting people know that your item's new or where it came from. And then getting this onto your item, you will need a tagging gun. This came from Uline. Uline has a lot of great items for your business. That's where we get our cardboard boxes from. Um, that's where these plastic inserts are from. The only problem with Uline is the shipping is a little outrageous, but I guess that's like when we're ordering boxes and stuff. I'm not sure. Like I've never just ordered this, so I don't know what the shipping's like on this, but to get free shipping, you have to spend a lot of money. And if you're starting your business and making a whole huge purchase, then you can probably get it. But for us, we're never purchasing a whole bunch on Uline at once. Um, they might have something like this on Amazon too, and I'll try to see if I can find an alternative for you guys and link it down below. But don't forget, if your gun doesn't come, you need the plastic tags. And then all you'll do is put this through and click this button and it goes right on the item that you wanted to. It's super easy and yeah, you definitely will need this stuff if you are starting your online business. I guess I should mention, even though in the beginning I said we weren't really gonna talk about this, um, having an online website is essential in having your online business or you could use Etsy which is also a great alternative. But if you wanna have your own platform, for us in Tales of Puff, we use Squarespace. I highly recommend Squarespace. I absolutely love it. You can do so much and kind of make it exactly what you want it to be. And I think it's very user friendly where we also use Shopify for another business. And I think it is way harder to learn and Shopify is way more expensive. On Squarespace, you can do everything that you would want with one price and then on Shopify you have to pay a big price and then for every little thing you want to do you also have to pay a price and it really adds up but I know Shopify is so booming and so many people love it so I'm not dissing on Shopify I think that it probably is a great platform um, especially for clothing boutique because I know as a buyer just having to type in my email and having all of my stuff populate into the field so I don't have to fill everything out is really nice and that is great about Shopify but I love Squarespace and I think you guys should check it out if you are creating your own website. So those are the items that I would suggest are the essentials for your online business and starting out. Obviously this is not everything that we use for our business so there are so many things. Do your research. Um, hopefully there's other videos like this that will name a couple different products so you guys can totally get a whole idea of what you'll be needing and how much you're gonna have to spend to start your business and what is essential for exactly what you need. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and should we do a giveaway? Okay, let's do a giveaway. We love doing giveaways at the end of our videos because it's super fun for you guys who might not have been following our business before to get to understand what our business is like. So we are going to be giving away one bandana of your choice to someone who comments down below. The comment will be, comment if you are going to be or if you ever hope to start a business, what your business would be. So, if you would like to create dog bananas like us, you can say that or any kind of business idea. It'd be so fun to see who's watching this and what kind of business you have in mind of starting. I hope you guys enjoy this video and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. I would do anything just to get you back again. I would do anything at all. No, I'm not innocent. You deserve a better man. But let me just hold your hand once more. I wanna take you out